Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine reading for Wednesday. So we're going to bring in the Spirit of the Animals Oracle today. I love this deck. So what's going on with the Masculine today, please, angels? What energy is the Masculine in and what do we need to be aware of? What's happening with the Masculine today? Jumped out the deck. Wow. So one card. Wow. We've got the Penguin. Now, this is so powerful because this is where we are right now. The penguin is coming through to say to you, breakthroughs are ahead. We've been receiving the buffalo with the same message. And the masculine is saying, I am now stepping into my authentic power. I want to be myself. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to hide who I am. I don't want to lie to you anymore. I don't want to cause you any more pain because that causes my myself pain. When I hurt you, I'm hurting. So he's saying to you, I have this desire now to be authentic, to change my life. And I really feel this is a huge message as we move towards the new year of what the masculine intends to do. Breakthroughs ahead. So the penguin is a symbol of breakthroughs, but the masculine is saying, I want to break free from the person I used to be. I want to break free from my situation. I want to move on from that karmic partner. I want to just be myself. And I'm also breaking free from others' expectations. So this is reminding you, Divine Feminine, that your masculine teaches you to let go of the when, the how, and to trust in the journey. The masculine is the feminine's greatest teacher and vice versa. But your masculine comes here to teach you to trust in love. To trust in love because you are love and you are an unbreakable bond. You are an unbreakable force. You are one. So when the masculine is ghosting you and blocking you and ignoring you, you know, as horrible as it is, it's also a time for you, Divine Feminine, to go within. And during those silent times, the separation, the distance, you learn to trust in the love because you reconnect with yourself and you reconnect with source and that taps you in with your truth and who you are and you realize that your twin flame is part of you, that you live in each other. So if you're being nasty about them or nasty to them, really you're being nasty to yourself because you are one. So you learn to nurture and love you during the separation of the quiet times and that ultimately nurtures and loves them and that gives them the power to move forward so when they feel you've released them you know by working on yourself and doing you and you've released the energetic pressure which is the holding on that's when they return they unblock you they move forward they reach out because they know spiritually and energetically that you've learned that lesson that you have let go, that you're working on you. It doesn't mean you let go of them or the situation, you know, as in you don't, you don't move on, but you let go of all the struggle around the situation. You realise, okay, well, I can't change this right now, but I can accept it and be at peace with it. So your masculine is teaching you as a soul member, you know, a soul tribe member. In other words, you were one soul, but you're also soul family. He's teaching you strength through the store. So it's like the masculine saying the storms come into our lives. So we heal and we grow and we evolve and we teach each other things. And I want to reach out to you because you are part of me. And in times of need, the masculine wants the divine feminine more than anything else. You know, they may stop themselves from reaching out because they have that vulnerability in them. And they try and do things by themselves because that's what's being programmed and conditioned into them from the moment they were born. Okay, it's weak to show emotion. That's what they're told. It isn't weak. Vulnerability is a strength. When we show emotion, when we're transparent, when we're loving, that's actually, it's a big strength. But the masculines learn this through you and the way you are, the way that you are you, you know, the way that you be yourself. So really, this is the masculine saying to you, you know, I want to be more like you. You inspire me to be authentic, to be myself. I want to show the world who I am. I'm tired of wearing a mask. I'm tired of hiding myself. I'm tired of living the same life, doing the same thing every day, going to the same job, the same home, the same environment. I want to thrive. I want to live. I want adventures. And that's what he gets with you. 
Even just sitting on the sofa with you is an adventure because his heart goes boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. So this is about the future. And I feel this is a big message about breakthroughs for the future. Great things coming in. So the penguin is going to come to you as a symbol of change and breakthroughs. And it's going to come to you in magical ways, just like the buffalo may have been coming to you. So the way you see signs from heaven is their way of showing you this journey is real. And the masculine is sending you a penguin today to say, be patient with me because I am on my way. Breakthroughs are coming in. But it's not just about breakthrough to be together. It's a breakthrough within themselves. So they choose themselves and then they always choose you. And that starts with them being their true self, being authentic and realizing who they are, why they've come and what they need to do. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.